Hello, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to TLC. This is a day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And it is the 26th of June on the Gregorian calendar in the year 2023. Thank you for joining us here today in this little corner of Father's Vineyard. It's a gift to us that you're here. And uh, we're very grateful for your love and your support, your prayers. We love you guys. And if you're new, welcome. We're glad to have you with us here as well. I'm going to read some scripture today, and I want to remind you guys, tonight is the uh, Monday Night Live stream, and I know it's going to be about fire, so I hope you can join us. Okay, today I'm reading out of the book of 1 Peter. I'm in chapter 4. Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves with the same way of thinking, for whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin so as to live for the rest of the time in the flesh, no longer for human passions, but for the will of God. For the time that is past suffices for doing what the Gentiles want to do, living in sensuality, passions, drunkenness, orgies, drinking parties, and lawless idolatry. With respect to this, they are surprised when you do not join them in the same flood of debauchery, and they malign you, but they will give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is why the gospel was preached even to those who are dead, that though judged in the flesh the way people are, they might live in the spirit the way God does. The end of all things is at hand, therefore, be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever speaks, as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves, as one who serves by the strength that God supplies in order that everything in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To him belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you as though some strange thing were happening to you. But rejoice insofar as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or a thief, or an evildoer, or as a meddler. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. For it is time for judgment to begin at the household of God. And if it begins with us, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if the righteous is scarcely saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? Therefore, let those who suffer according to God's will entrust their souls to a faithful creator while doing good. Father, thank you for these words. 
Thank you for the call to each one of us to stand back up, to endure whatever we have to endure, to walk in faith and love and obedience to you, no longer looking back at the past and the failures of the past, those things we've repented for, the things we have repented of, those things we've turned back away from us and turned ourselves back to you about those things are dead and gone the past is dead and gone and father forgive us for dwelling in the past on the things that have happened or whether it's been our failures or the failures of others please forgive us god you need us to be very present in this hour because this hour we're living in is has enough stuff in it and there's going to be more tomorrow and we know that god so Help us keep our eyes on you. Help us keep our thoughts on you, Lord God, so that you may have your way in all things. We bless your name, Lord. You are the Most High God. We want you to have your way today and always, Father. So we pray for all of our brothers and sisters in Christ, each one to have ears to hear and eyes to see what you're saying to each one of us individually in this hour in the name of our savior yeshua hamashiach jesus the christ we pray amen Thank you.